Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here this morning having my coffee on this early morning, sunshiny day. It's beautiful out here, the sun's shining, but the birds are not out that much right now, but they will be. But I'm having my coffee and, and, and seeing the butterflies and the birds and all the things that the Lord has made that we enjoy. I'm out here this morning going to start a new project. This is the pot that I'm going to... I bought this somewhere. It wasn't much. I can't remember where I got it. But anyway, this is the pot I'm going to use for a mold. I'm going to put cement down in here and let it dry and hopefully I can get it out. It looks like I, can, I might be able to get it out. I don't know, but anyway, uh, I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to decorate the outside of it, but I'm not sure yet how, but I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> I guess you'll have to see like me as I go along how, what I do to it, because sometimes I don't know, I just, I just, uh, make it and, think about what I want to put on it and then that's what I do. So thank y'all so much for watching my videos and having coffee with me in the morning. That means so much that people are watching me and having coffee with me while they watch my videos. <laughs> that is so sweet. Uh, I make my pots with Portland cement. This is Portland cement. Portland cement comes from Home Depot and it's great cement. I love it. It doesn't have rocks and stuff in it. It has just fine uh, like flour to work with. It's just it's really really fine cement and that's what I like. I like this kind so uh, y'all go out and buy you a little bag of cement and make y'all some. It'll be fun. Anyway, I make my Portland cement with one part Portland cement, two parts sand. And that is, if you put one cup of cement, then you put two cups of sand. If you put six cups of cement, you put 12 cups of sand. And you mix it with water, you stir it up, and you, uh, whatever consistency that you like. Uh, most of the time, I like a firmer mixture, like it'll stick. You know, if you stick it in here, it'll stay, like, on the sides. Well, that's what I usually use, but uh, sometimes it, it, it will get uh, a little thin if you don't watch it. Okay, let's get around here now and see if we can start this project and see how it turns out and see what problems we run up with or whatever. <laughs> I'll always find something that uh, is giving me a, a trouble most of the time. But that's life. You know, you're, going, you're not, everything you do is not going to be perfect. You're going to have uh, things happen. You just have to overlook it and go on and make the best out of it you can and and have a blessed blessed day subscribe and share and click the little uh, bell so you can get notified when I make another video thank y'all so much and let's have another sip of coffee before we get started <laughs> or two Yes, I think I'll have two. Okay, let's go. Let's get started. It's a beautiful day, and let's get out and see. Airplanes are flying over. I think I'm in the path of an airplane or something. They come over all the time, and I see Benny, the twister. He has the same trouble he has. When he does a video, he has airplanes flying over. <laughs> 
there's an airport on the other side of town, like way over, but somehow they come right over this part most of the time. Okay, let's get started with this project and stop talking, because I, I sometimes <laughs> talk too much. All right, let's go. Okay, six cups of Portland cement. Six cups of Georgia sand. And six more cups. It's 12. Okay, now you mix it all up. I'm just going to mix it with my hands. Add your water, and I want it kind of firm, like always. I see that's not enough, so I'm adding some more. Y'all, I, I haven't been in, in the YouTube thing very long. I didn't, I didn't even know nothing about YouTube. I didn't know it, it was, it was even YouTube. But, you know, it's nice to have it because... You can see all kind of beautiful things being made and how to make them. And, and then you may decide you want to make something on YouTube. If I could learn how to do it, I know anyone can. Because I'm, I'm not... I'm not no computer expert at all. Wasn't for my grandson and my son, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Cause I sure don't know all the things about it that I need to know. And it's hard to get around to everything. Okay. Let this sit here a minute and uh, go over here and see what I need to do about my. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off for a minute. Get my table set up. Okay, this is a uh, olive oil. I'm gonna put some around in this pot so maybe it won't stick. Never.
never know 100% sure that it that it won't but we're hoping that it don't <laughs> okay putting the cement in here I hope y'all don't get tired of hearing me say how nice this lazy Susan is. <laughs> it is so nice. I put some in the bottom. Now I'm putting it on the sides. And it's sticking where I'm putting well, if you get your mixture like uh, not too thin, it will stay where you stick it. And I love that. I don't like for it to run down, you know, too much. Most of the time, this is how I make mine. I don't like it real runny because I like to put my cement in certain places and I want it to stay where I put it and it will what I'm thinking about doing to this pot is really gonna be pretty if if, if it uh, turns out the way I want it to, and I can do that. You know, I like, I like trying new things. And I love Portland cement and painting and uh, all kind of stuff. I like, I like a lot of things. Put some a little thicker around the sides. Because you don't want your sides too thin because they could break. You want your sides thick enough that it won't come apart. You do this and you learn from your mistakes and what what uh, works and what doesn't work. And sometimes what you thought was going to work didn't. And <laughs> you can't ever really be sure that everything you do is going to work. It's just a, I don't know what it is, but like things that you think cannot go wrong will. Sometimes it will. You just have to fix it if you can or start over or whatever you need to do. You know, I love old-looking pots and things that
new things is okay, but, you know, I like the old look. I guess it's because I'm old. <laughs> Even though it's thick and and it'll stay sort of where you put it, it'll still slide down a little bit. And so that's what I'm doing now. I'm getting the cement that sl slid down in the bottom of this pot and putting it back up here on the sides. I may put something in here to hold it. I don't want to have any trouble getting it out, and that could happen. Let me see what I have that I could put down in here that I could get out. Easy er. Okay, I found this. This is an old pot and it's brittle and it's breaking already. You know, it's not any good, so if it's that brittle, maybe I can get it out when I get ready to get it out. It'll even go in here and everywhere and when I'm looking for one I can't find one <laughs> This old pot.
Okay, I'm going to let this dry and come back and see how it looks later. I'm going to set it over here and let it dry now. Okay, you remember I've, I made this pot and I put this old pot in there. Oh, it's coming out. Easy. Okay. Now I've got this pot to get out. And I don't know how easy that's going to be. Let's see. Pretty easy. Back up. Coming out. Oh, it did. That is great. That is a great flower pot. Okay, now I've decided something else. Where is it? Oh. This is a little, sometime when I have cement left, I put it in a, in a little thing around there that I have, and I make one of these little pots, and I've decided I'm going to put this pot on this pot. Oh, that's pretty. So, I'm going, what I'm going to do is, Gonna turn it upside down. And cement this part to it. I think that will be great. I've already mixed up my cement. Uh 
you know how I do it. I put uh, one part cement, two parts sand in it. Lazy Susan. I don't know what I done without it. I might as well get it right now because I need it. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to put it around here and let it dry now. And, uh, we'll see how it does when, I, when it gets dry. Thank y'all for watching this. Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia and I'm out here on this beautiful morning. On this early morning having my coffee and enjoy my uh, morning with my birds and all the God's creations and they're out here somewhere I don't know if there's any back there or not yet but they're here anyway and I, I gave them some seeds they won't come right here and eat because I'm here but they are they may go back there and I have a place out there I've got all kind of places for them to eat so they they don't go hungry <laughs> Okay, I'm, let me have a little sip of coffee. I hope everyone's out there having their coffee too, because we all have coffee together on here. We just watch videos and make videos and talk and enjoy being together and having fun and creating something that everyone will like, maybe, if I don't create one thing you like maybe I'll create something else you like but thank the Lord the storm has passed us by we didn't have any just a tiny just a little tiny bit of rain not hardly any 
and a little tiny bit of wind. I had to tie my wind chimes up because they were playing together so loud. I, I was afraid they were going to break. And, and people are asking me where I got them. Uh, Big Lots doesn't have many when they bring them out. I don't know where, who makes them or where they come from, but they have them, but they don't have many. So if you want some when they come out, you keep going into uh, Big Lots and looking back there where they hang the wind chimes and maybe you'll find some. They are beautiful. I love them. I don't know why they don't have more than just a few in in the spring, but and they don't get any more in uh, like that during the summer either. Just just that one time that I find them, I found them twice there. So, but I just wanted to tell y'all where you could find those. Everybody loves them. My wind, most people, <laughs> not everybody. A big fan of my wind chimes they cling together and they make some people uh, they say they're annoying so I try to not let them ring too loud I try to hold them back if I can so they won't disturb anyone but anyway I'm out here this morning going uh, I started a project the other day and I'm going to uh, work on it today and see what I can come up with to fix it and to make it beautiful. So that's what I'm out here doing this morning is trying to fix this pot. And I'm going to show y'all the pot and let's see what, and let's figure it. Let me try to figure out what I'm going to do to it. <laughs> so let me, let me bring it over here. another sip of coffee. I hope everybody else is drinking coffee this morning or whatever they like to drink in the morning or whatever in the evening or whenever you see this. It, don't, it doesn't have to be morning every time, but it's not morning everywhere that sees this video, I know, because these people told me that. <laughs> but anyway, let's have coffee and enjoy each other and, and uh, be a blessing to someone each day and the Lord will bless us. I, I know He will. He has already blessed us. Me. <laughs> he has already blessed me. Thank you so much. So let me get over here and get this pot over here and see what I can do to it. Okay, let me get it. This is it. Oh, I'm, to put my I'm thinking about I'm thinking about painting it. Now let's see how I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Okay, let me get started. All right, time to go go to work now. I hear a hawk. I'm going to put this dark brown on it to start with. I'm going to hold my breath.
I'm going to put some orange on here. It's a apple barrel pumpkin orange. Let me have a have a little sip of coffee. Okay, I've got some 
leaves here that I'm uh, thinking about putting on it. Uh, I'm going to use to put them on. Then I'm going to put Mod Podge over the top of that. I'm, I'm taking them off of these little things because I don't want that other part on there. The little stem part, I don't need it. I'm just going to have leaves. Like this. Let me have another sip of coffee while I'm thinking. <laughs> Might take more than this. Might take a, a while. Is this going to show up? I think it will. I'm going to try this Mod Podge and see if it will hold this the way I want it to. I think I'll use this little brush right here. I'm going to just put it on the back of it. And just stick it up there. Drop it down in here and, and let it absorb all this glue. Okay, I, I've been putting the leaves on here. It took, it was taking a little while, and I just went ahead and put them on there because I didn't want the video to be so long. So I'm, I'm uh, getting these. Uh, I'm gonna put some up here on the top, and I'm cutting them out, small ones with the scissors that's what I'm doing now I don't know how many I'm going to need but this definitely looks like fall of the year doesn't it okay, I'm 
bunch of them, so I don't know. They gonna, uh, it'll be enough or not, but let me get up here and let y'all get a little closer where you can see the, what I'm doing. Okay, I think you can see now. Drop one. Boy, the hawks are sure out this morning. I hope they find something to eat somewhere else. I'm putting Modge Podge on here to seal it and uh, hold these leaves on. Okay. I'm putting Mod Podge on here to uh, seal it in and hold the leaves in place. This will dry uh, clear. Okay, I'm going to let this dry now and see what it, how it looks when it gets dry. And I'll come back in a little while when it dries. I think it's beautiful. It looks like a beautiful fall pot with fall leaves on it. I think that's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Life is all about helping each other along the way. When it gets, uh, the way gets hard, help each other so we can get through it together. Thank y'all so much. I'll be back in a, in a little while. Thank you. Okay, everyone, I'm through with this project. This is my finished project, my flower pot with leaves on it. It looks like fall. I think it's beautiful. I uh, put the leaves on it, and I painted it, and I put Mod Podge on it, and this is it. This is my finished project. So thank y'all so much for watching this video. Have a blessed, blessed day. Subscribe and share. 